Welcome back to Living Our American Dream, everybody. My name's Matt. Boy, the sun just kicked up right now. Um, today, this video, so if you've been following my channel along, you know that I built a cabin back in my woods. Now, one of the things that has been on my list after building that cabin is to make my trail system in my woods go right by that cabin. Right now, it is accessed by a dead end trail. So the main part of this video, or the first part of this video, is going to be going back to the cabin site and I've already kind of started we're gonna tie into that dead end trail and we're gonna make it uh, go through the woods and tie into another section of our trail system stick around it's gonna be fun So what we did is we parked the tractor over where the trail ended over there and we started at this other end. So over by that big oak tree you can see, that's where the trail actually start, or end, start, whatever you want to call it. That's where the other trail is at. But I want to show you guys something. Come here for a minute. As we go along here, follow right along with me, Mark. We're going to make this trail go this way. And we're going to cut right around this... Uh, cherry tree here where the dead oak is and head over towards the tractor can you see the tractor in the video there buddy yeah yeah so that's where we need to tie up at but this is what i wanted to show you guys come here for a second so back behind me there's a large shaggy bark tree back there i don't know if you can see that in the video maybe mark can zoom in on it that is a shag bark hickory tree okay now on this 90 acres, I've only found maybe 20 of those trees on the whole property. And that's the species that if I recognize something like that in my woods, I don't want to take down any of those if I can help it, right? So I want those things to kind of thrive. They're a, they're a native tree here in mid-Michigan. And uh, given that we don't have that many of them, I don't want to take any down. So the reason I tell you that, this tree right here is a shagbark hickory tree. You can tell by the bark, a younger one, it's starting to get a little bit shaggy like this right here, but you can tell by the bark grain, and I, I guess I'm a tree dork, but um, we're gonna make our trail go around this. Similarly, uh, other species that are, I guess, fewer and further between in my woods, uh, such as blue beech. So blue beech is a, a native tree here also, and we do have beech trees here on the property. I don't have any big beech trees, so I don't know if years ago, maybe they were harvested, um, but there's definitely younger ones in here, so that indicates to me that there historically used to be blue beech in this forest. So anyway, hickory, blue beech, some of the wild cherries that are around, I try to avoid some of those. I really hate to consider a red maple tree as a junk tree, because it's certainly not. They're beautiful trees for color in the fall but we have hundreds of thousands of red maple trees. So a lot of these little saplings that you see me cutting down, a bunch of those are red maples and they're literally all over this property. So um, yeah, we try to pick our way through here and take down trees that don't look healthy, take down younger ones, take down ones that are clustered together. <clears throat> That's how we're making this trail, so.
So we've got our trail built and uh, I don't know, it's probably three, four in the afternoon, maybe something like that. The trail didn't actually take as long as this whole day of work did. But like I said, we cut a little bit of firewood and I hauled some logs out of the woods, as you've seen in the video, ready for the sawmill. Now, while we're standing here, if you pan to the left a little bit, you're going to see this tarp over here. Under the tarp is the sawmill. This is. Uh, it's the same mill that I used to make the lumber for my cabin, but it is not on a trailer this time. So it is on the, the frame that belongs to it. So I'll be able to load logs onto this from the side with my pallet or with uh, my forks. So that's going to be nice. And additionally, if I want to, I think I can cut, I need to measure, but I think I can cut up to a 16 foot long log on here. So. Uh, I'll tell you more about the sawmill when I do the sawmill video, but as you can see, I got a little bit of work to do now. So I got some firewood to split over here. Um, 
there's probably 10 or 12 logs over here on the log pile. Once we get over here, you'll be able to see that. They're a mix of species. So again, we'll cover a lot of this when I go to do that video, but there's some oak over there, there's some maple, there's some cherry, and then there's some other softwoods, um, particularly these ones that we hauled out today, which I think are more of the aspen. Um, the aspen we're gonna make dimensional lumber out of. Uh, the oak, we're gonna make some big slabs that are one straight edge and one live edge um, in the maple. I haven't decided, but I wanna make some planks for some picnic tables around here. So anyway, we'll get to all of that. Regardless of all that, I appreciate you guys watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.